What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be talking about the new cards that are released in NBA 2K18, my team. So I'm just going to glance over the stats of Earl Monroe first, because this was a reward card that he was supposed to have gotten yesterday. But um, decent shot three, decent shot mid. Speed, speed with ball and acceleration, good. Not a great driving dunk and not a great rewards card, to be completely honest. But now we are going to go over the seven playoff cards that NBA 2K released today in NBA 2K18, my team. So now it's looking like they're done with rubies and they're going to be releasing three amethyst as well as um, diamonds. Meaning that ruby cards are basically worthless in the game this year. Especially because these amethysts come out as like 2 to 3 KMT. I can guarantee you that Reggie Theus is better than almost every ruby um, point guard in the game anyway. But um, now let's go over the stats of these cards. So we're starting off with Steven Jackson, his 07 card. Steven Jackson's got arguably the best release in the game. It was a Hall of Fame catch and shoot which is his only Hall of Fame badge which is not great though. He's a 6'8 small forward. He's got a 94 shot mid, 90 open shot three. 45 times was he's got 86 ball control, so he's speed boost. 85 driving dunk. Let's have a look at the tendencies with a 90 driving dunk tendency. That's not terrible. Defensive stats are decent, but not incredible. Speed acceleration and speed of ball are okay. But um, all this card depends on is how good his release is because. He can hit pretty much every shot when he's open. And the problem is, this year, there's so many limitless shooters that it's such a liability not having limitless. Not even having gold limitless. And it costs a lot for them badges. So for a card that's going to be as cheap as this, unless his release is the best in the game like it was last year, unless you can green every shot on him, honestly, the stats are just that little bit underwhelming. I honestly was looking forward to this card. I was expecting it to be an absolute beast, but a little bit underwhelming. Not a bad card, just underwhelming. Now we're on to Reggie Theus. So Reggie Theus comes with four Hall of Fame badges. No hot zones really except the corner outside the three. No Hall of Fame badges are Acrobat Relentless Finisher, Pick and Roll Maestro, and One Man Fast Break. Reggie Theus is a 6'7 point guard, 35 intangibles. Wow. He's got 94 open shot mid, 86 open shot three, and his release is decent. He's got 94 speed acceleration and 93 speed with ball. He's 89 on ball defensive IQ, he's got a 90 steal, 93 lateral quickness is not bad at all. He's got a driving look of 80, uh, driving light of 97, great ball control of 94, great passing stats, decent rebounding. Let's have a look at his tendencies. He has got a driving dunk tendency of 100 as well. So this card could be easily the best cheap point guard in the game. Like he can shoot, he's tall, he's 6'7", he can defend, he can dunk, he can pass. There's nothing this card can't do and again, he's going to be like 3 to 5 KMT, which is nuts. These playoff cards are so, so good and so, so cheap. So I'm really looking forward to um, getting a chance to use this card. Next, we have got Horace Grant. So Horace Grant, I don't think that this card is going to be up to much. Before I look at his stats, I have not seen them yet. I'm guessing he's going to be a non-shooting power forward, and they give him everything above, say, 94 on defense. That's my guess. 89 lateral quickness, 88 steel, but almost everything above 90 on defense. This card is, uh, I don't know. Like I'm gonna have a look at its badges now. He's a Hall of Fame putback king, bruiser, brick wall, chase down artist, defense top, rim protected, hustle rebounder. So he's got a lot of Hall of Fame badges. He's also got some nice gold badges. He's got a 90 open shot mid. His three ball was only 36. So I'm guessing at some stage this is um, an this is an Orlando Magic Horse Grand. I'm guessing at some stage we see a dynamic duo. But he's also got um, a standing lab 96, which is okay. Standing dunk 95. Driving him is decent of 80. But defensive stats are where this card excels. He's 6'10, so he's big. He's a great on ball defense. IQ. He's got an unbelievable block rating with Hall of Fame Rim Protector. He's also got an 88 steal. He's got 89 hour quickness, so he can guard the smaller players. 96 low post defensive IQ is good. He's got 97 uh, offensive rebound, 98 defensive rebound, 98 box out. But at the same time, there are cards that are going to be, well, not, I'm not necessarily going to say cheaper because you can't get much cheaper than this, but there are cards that do the same job and better, but really cheap. Now, Josh Smith is almost as good a rebounder and defender as this card, but Josh Smith can dribble, shoot, and dunk better. So I don't see any reason, unless you really like Horace Grant, you're using an all-time Magic lineup or you're using an all-time Bulls lineup, I really don't see any reason why you would use a Horace Grant card, especially at this stage of the year with how good so many of the cards are in NBA 2K team, my team. I really just don't see a purpose for this card in the game right now, anyway. But um, now we're on to the diamond cards. This is the one people are probably most excited about, and it's Diamond J. Or Smith. He's got hot zones everywhere outside the three-point line, and most spots inside it. 
badges. He comes with Hall of Fame catch and shoot corner specialist, deep range Jedi, difficult shots. Hall of Fame difficult shots. Um, on JR is going to be mad. He's also got limitless range and tireless score. Um, and posterizer Hall of Fame, which is good to have. He's also got a lot of good badges, including goal defense stopper. Let's have a look at his stats. He's got a 98 open shot three, 95 open shot mid, 99 contest shot three, 95 speed, 90 speed of ball, 95 acceleration, 98 driving dunk. His defensive stats still leave a little bit to be desired, but he's still got 99, ball, sorry, 90 ball control, 89 on ball defense, 95 lateral quickness. Oh my god, this card could legitimately be, if this card is like 30 to 40k, this card could be incredible. Well, hilariously enough, I don't think it's that big of an upgrade above this JR. I think they'll play almost the same. I don't think you'll feel that much difference. But considering how cheap this card's more than likely going to be, it's going to be incredible. Diamond J.R. Smith looks like it could be an absolute beast of a card. And it's a card that I cannot wait to use in my team this year. This card's stats are absolutely incredible. And I'm guessing today he'll probably go for around like 80, 90k. But I'm guessing within a week, especially with if they're releasing, keep releasing three pink diamonds a week, I can see him dropping to less than 30k in the next couple of days. Actually, I haven't even seen the market crash. I don't even know what the market crash is like. I heard Draymond's like 30k. But um, this guy could be so, so good if he's cheap. Now we are on to Dave being a 6-3 point guard. 8 Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, difficult shots, tire score, acrobat, relentless finisher, teardropper, anchor breaker, and dimer. So he's got 96 open shot mid, 94 open shot 3, 97 speed acceleration, 97 speed of ball. He's also got good defensive stats. 94 on ball defensive IQ, 95 lateral quickness, 94 steel. He's got um, not a great driving number 65, but a good driving layup of 98. But um, yeah, I don't really know what they've been. I've never used any of his cards, so I don't know what he's like at all. And this card might be good if you're using like an all-time Pistons team or if you like, if you're a Pistons fan. But I honestly don't know the first thing about Dave being in 2k all through the years it's a card that i never once considered using it's a card that i never once used if his release is nice he could be a really nice card especially because he's a high speed speed ball acceleration great three ball great defense and hall of fame dimer he could be a great card but i honestly do not know enough about dave bing to make an uh, educated opinion on how good this card will be stats wise decent but i've no i actually have no idea what he's gonna be like in game now we're on to robert parish so robert parish has got 10 hall of fame badges his Hall of Fame badges are mid range that I dream like coming under pick and popper, drop stepper, pick and roller, put back game, post spin ignition, brick wall, bruiser, um, and hustle rebounder. Robert Parrish has got 97 post fadeaway, 95 post hook. He's also got a 60 open shot three, which I'm guessing he will get a duo with Kevin McHale, considering they didn't give Kevin McHale and Larry Bird a duo. I'm guessing the Parrish McHale duo is going to give him a three ball. He's a 98 open shot mid though, 82 speed, 80 acceleration is good for a 7 foot tall center. His defensive stats are good as well, he's got 80 lateral quickness. He's got 97 block, 92 on ball defense IQ, 90, sorry 92 low post defense IQ, 91 on ball defense IQ, 95 driving dunk. He's got a standing dunk of 98 and hopefully those tendencies are all 100. He's got a driving intensity of 100, standing dunk of 85 which is good. Rebounding stats good, block rating 97 is good. And this card could be a really nice card, especially if he does have that duo with um, Kevin McHale that gives him a three ball. Otherwise, the, it's just going to be an center that's outclassed in a lot of ways. Again, if you're a Celtics fan and you like using all-time Celtics teams, it might be good. But because he can't shoot, he's outclassed by an awful lot of centers in this game, as of right now, anyway. Now we're on to the main man. Pink Diamond Steph Curry. Wait, did the 97 out of all hot zones? No, there was one cold zone for 97 as well. 17 Hall of Fame badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, deep range that I, difficult shots, limitless range. Mid range, dead eye, acrobat, tire score, relentless finisher, teardropper, anchor breaker, dimer, flashy passer, pick and roll maestro, lob city finisher, one man fast rate, pickpocket. 99 all of his shooting, 98 offense consistency, 98 speed, speed ball acceleration, 99 ball control, 99 driving layup. He doesn't have a good driving dunk though, of only 60. 60 is not terrible. 92 on ball defensive IQ, 98 lateral quickness, 98 steal. Oh my god, let's just compare these two Steph Curry's though. Because if anything, um, it could, it's going to push down the diamonds price anyway. But um, the difference in the stats is a good bit actually. Wow, obviously a lot of that's in post hook and fade, which doesn't make a difference. He goes up 24 in driving dunk, which actually might be big. His defense goes up and yeah, it's just crazy. This pink diamond Steph is an absolute beast in this game. 
So anyway, that's the video. These are the new cards added into NBA 2K18, my team. I honestly cannot wait to see what they release in the coming days. I'm a little bit disappointed at the Pink Diamond Steph Curry because we did just get 97 overall. And even though the Pink Diamond is better than 97, it's not better by that much. But at the same time, it's still a really, really cool card and is going to be very, very fun to use. I get back to Ireland anyway on Saturday, so I'll be able to get all of these pink diamonds. I've got, um, I sold basically all my cards in the PC and I have a couple of million MT uh, lined up. So I'm going to be buying all of these pink diamonds when I get back to Ireland anyway on Saturday. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.